Hi, hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, one natal chart aspect, which is uh, Pluto square ascendant. So, hi, hello and welcome. I welcome everyone who is new here actually. My name is Beata, I'm from horoscopesandreadings.com. I'm your astrologer, but I'm also a tarot reader and in this video, let's dive deeper into one of those really interesting aspects someone can have in their natal chart this aspect is certainly very interesting if you have it in 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 the relationship dynamic but today i decided that i will focus uh, on natal chart aspect as you can see boxes uh, beside me they all have this uh, very nice mark on them that says fragile and uh, this is actually very you know <laughs> uh, this is actually something i can definitely use uh, in my videos when it comes to this aspect because uh, everyone uh, who has this aspect uh, these people can actually feel very fragile when it comes to their personalities okay because uh, ascendant is really our face we show to the world we show to everyone uh, we really uh, don't know it's pretty much that first impression it's the ascendant and if pluto uh, squares your ascendant uh, in in natal chart um this is uh, certainly indication of uh, someone uh, who actually likes to doubt himself or herself okay so i will obviously start with the downside of this aspect because you know i've seen this over and over again um like uh, if someone has this pluto square ascendant in their natal chart these people um, they oftentimes doubt themselves and they you know sometimes lack confidence but this is very secretive deeply secretive with everything with pluto so so as much as this person can actually overdo things and actually overcompensate everything in their life and uh, you know these people can definitely be uh, people who are always there for everyone you know who, who really loves to help people but but somehow uh, they learned that even this approach uh, doesn't work for them okay uh, typically everyone who has a pluto square ascendant is uh, is a sign of uh, someone who really you know carries a lot of baggage and uh, this aspect is aspect of someone who really you know you know uh, mm, it often feels like this person is overburdened by uh, responsibilities but even responsibilities for other people so uh, there is that one common trait uh, of this aspect that these people uh, they they really like or you know this is their uh, perception of life they really uh, are there for other people and they actually like to even solve uh, other people's problems okay so here comes uh, that controlling nature of uh, Pluto and even Pluto square ascendant. So not only you are very, let's say, um, you can be actually silent type. It, it, it depends uh, on the whole, let's say, chart. But you can be, your first impression can be that you are silent. But, but uh, with, with Pluto, you are very observant. And with that Pluto square ascendant, um, you can be quite nosy and you can actually uh, want to know what's up, what is really going on in everyone's life, you know, and you mean good uh, to people. So you really want to help them. But uh, chances are that you actually 
can burn out because of this aspect alone you know yes uh, this aspect alone has the power uh, over you okay because you know every time pluto is involved there are extremes okay uh, this is my uh, understanding of of pluto in, in pretty much any aspect uh, to any planet that things are uh, somehow getting out of hands at one point okay so if you have this aspect just you know you have to understand that you probably feel pressured by life by people but but the thing is that you typically uh, creates this dynamic that other people somehow even depend on you right there is that uh, definitely codependent factor that you really you know want to feel valued but uh, but but sometimes you can definitely burn out uh, from your responsibilities in work in life in family in everything right because because uh, sometimes what happens is that you really end up you know um you really end up like you don't know you don't know what to do first right but uh this is dynamic that you have created okay and this is probably the main message of this video that everyone who has this aspect uh should definitely be more aware of the influence you have on other people this is definitely your team but also uh sometimes too much is just too much right uh, sometimes you also need to rest and uh, sometimes you just need to believe in yourself more because as i have mentioned at the beginning of this video um, you like to doubt yourself you know you doubt if you do enough if you have enough you know if you are valued enough you know if you even have much to offer right so this pluto is actually tied uh, to your ego you know these people they tend to have big ego and you know in in today's society we don't want to hear about big egos and and somehow we judge it but uh it's like a uh, big ego actually means in this case that uh, you take things very personally you know everything what is really coming around uh is really touching you on a very deep even emotional level you know because it's very striking because your ascendant the way you present yourself is being uh, uh striked on the to the core right so so you don't take things lightly you don't take even criticism lightly and you know even if other people dislike you you don't take it lightly but chances are if you have this aspect you trigger a lot of people and yeah chances are that a lot of people may not even like you just because you have this aspect pretty much okay so yeah it's like another downside of this aspect is uh, that you tend to to really uh, take things uh, too personal you know to your heart like everything is about you and uh, and sometimes at uh, you know with this difficult contact you may even become slightly paranoid you know like you really don't trust people but you know this aspect is such a complex uh i could talk on and on in this video about this aspect but typically person who has this aspect uh pretty much overcomes a lot of challenges um in, in his life and this all leads to the transformation which is ultimate pluto's goal whatsoever right okay guys so this was my analysis of this natal chart aspect as always let me know what you think if you have this one what, the, what is your perception of this aspect and uh, yeah if you want to book a reading with me it's very simple everything is listed in the description below this video i offer 
readings uh, such as relationship horoscope, personality horoscope, future predictive horoscope, pretty much anything you can think of. Everything is uh, written on my website horoscopesandreadings.com but uh, if you read uh, the description below this video you will notice that uh, you can order or book a reading with me uh, very simply just you know um, via paypal you can you can pay via paypal and uh, your reading will be delivered to you okay guys so that's all i have for you thanks for tuning in thanks for watching Thanks for liking this video and yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.